Good morning, guys. It's uh, one o'clock in the morning and we are heading out to check on our heifers. Got my handy dandy flashlight, but it is really dark outside, so stick close. Slimy. Oh yeah, you are. All right, that's number 48 right there. And uh, I have a feeling she's getting really close. The tail's swinging back and forth. She's really slimy. Udder's getting full of milk. Pretty sure we're gonna have a calf before too long. Here we go. Oh, shit. please don't die on me. Oh. Hey, is there any chance I can get some help? Okay, we've got a calf. It's another breech calf and uh, it's not good. So, sun is just coming up. She's working on getting it out. We're gonna get her into the chute and uh, start seeing what we can do here. We've gotta get some of these cows moved around. Come on guys. Alrighty, girly, come on. You gotta move. Come on. Get. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You gotta go. So some of, I, I'm not sure why these heifers. This is our second breech calf. I'm not sure why these heifers are doing this. It's not good, obviously. not making me happy but we're gonna work fast here we're out here by ourselves <laughs> come on girl move your butt hopefully we can save this calf 
let's go. We're gonna help you out here. I apologize for the bumpy camera work here. We'll get you guys settled down here in just a minute. Burr. We're gonna bring her up, get her in the chute. Or we're gonna start working on her, trying to get this calf out. Um, come on, let's go. Come on up, good girl, good girl. Let's get your head in, good girl. I gotta go grab my chains. We're gonna get set up with the puller right away. Okay. Let's get to, oh, you went back in. Oh, dang it. Okay, calf sucked back in. Come on, cow. You can do this. Actually, no, we're not backwards. We are not backwards. We are just a giant Okay, I'm gonna try to help you out here, kiddo. I need you to have some contractions for me. That's all. Come on, mama. There's the tongue of the calf. This doesn't look good. Come on. Come on, mama. This calf is humongous. I do believe we're giving birth to a calf that's already passed away, but we're gonna find out. Come on, mama, you can do it. Come on, mama. Well, maybe not. I just saw movement from the tongue there, I think. Maybe, I don't know. If it is, still alive. We gotta get it out of here pretty dang quick. That tongue is so swollen. Not good. We just gotta get it out. There we go. Stay up, stay up, don't fall down. Keep pushing, mama. Keep pushing. Come on, baby. No, 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 no. Calf is alive. Tongue is really swollen. Calf is now out. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is uh, get her I'm gonna let this calf lay here for just a second. I wanna get her out, cause she's stuck up there. And then we're gonna get this calf inside. And then we're gonna get her inside. Okay, 
because I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry this calf by myself, I'm gonna go grab a sled really quick and get this calf out of here. Calf is alive. Mom is laying down, which is not good, but we're gonna have to get her up and out of here. Calf's trying to make noise. That tongue is extremely swollen, but we'll deal with that in just a minute. I've got our sled here. This is our calf sled. I rarely, I don't use it a whole lot, mostly because calves try to stand up into, in it and they fall out. I don't think this one's gonna try to stand up at least long enough that it takes to get to the barn. Plus, usually I can pick up a calf. This one might be a little big. I hear you, mama. Okay, buddy, come on out. We're gonna get you in this thing, okay? Sorry, I dropped your brain. Yeah, you just lay in here. Lay in here and relax. Be a chill, chill. Mama's still laying down there. We may have to pop the side to get her out, but I think she's okay. We're gonna grab this calf and give him a quick ride to the barn. Donkeys and emu trying to help. And she turned around and bring you in here. Where? I'm gonna get you out of the sled. And we're just gonna lay you down. Ready to tip? Here we go. Get ready for a roll. Big roll. Look at that. Okay. Now, let's get you turned around here and sitting up. There we go. Good kid. You boy or a girl? You're a boy. Of course you are. You're a big old boy. Now, taking a look here. His tongue is extremely swollen. You can still see it kind of sticking out of the side there. The swelling has gone down quite a bit from what we saw when the calf was first coming out, but what I'm gonna do is actually give this calf some banamine before we even bring mom in. The banamine is an anti-inflammatory. Will help bring down some more of that swelling. I'm gonna run to my medicine locker to get it. It is a controlled substance, so you do have to have a, uh, a prescription from your vet. But it is one of those things that I do keep on hand just because when this kind of situation, when you have a rough birth, you're gonna see that swelling of the tongue. You're, it's just, it just happens through stress and everything else. So we wanna make sure that we kind of cut that off at the pass. And I didn't always know that. Uh, first couple times we had calves with swollen tongues like that. Uh, I, I didn't know what to give them. Called the vet, was told what to do, and that definitely, definitely helped out just being able to contact your vet and have a, a good relationship with them. Okay, so this is our medicine cabinet. Banamine, right here. And we're just gonna grab him a couple cc's of this. Hopefully bring down that swelling. Needle's ready to go. Now, honestly, off the top of my head, I don't remember the exact dosage um, per pound. I did have that written down on a piece of paper in there, and for some reason, it's not there. So we're gonna start him out with two cc's, get mom in, and then um, I'll be able to double check and verify when we come back out and check him. If we need to give him a little bit more, we can do that. I know, I hear you mooing, you want your mommy. I'm gonna get her in just a minute for you. Okay. First though, I gotta do something you're probably not gonna like, but it's okay. We're gonna just do this really fast. 
give you that. So it's done. All done. Okay. You hang out here for just a little bit. We're going to get the donkey and the emu put away here really fast. Come on, Ethel. Let's go get mom. It's an exciting way to start your morning, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm going this way, because I got to open gates going this way. Um, can't say I love it. I love having a calf that's alive. That makes me feel good. And of course, this being a boy means that he'll go into the feedlot. Open that gate up. I need to get a strap or something for this gate so it'll stay open a little better. Open up our back door. Oh, it's frozen. There we go. Whew. I don't know what I'd do if that was frozen shut. Okay. Sun's a little bit higher in the sky now. I got to tell you that uh, the fact that that calf is alive is actually pretty, pretty amazing to me. And it shows the, the resilience of these animals. When I got a look at that, along with you actually for the first time, and I saw the, uh, how cold the afterbirth, how frozen it was. Um, I got to tell you, I did not have a good feeling in my stomach about it. I thought I was going to end up showing you guys our first lost calf of the season, honestly. Um, I'm really happy I didn't, but not a, not a good feeling. Getting a couple gates closed here so that when we bring mom out of the chute, we can get her right down into the, into the barn. Because I can see over there, she's still down in the chute. Not really a good sign, not a great thing in the world to happen. We're gonna get her out of here though. Hopefully we can get her up. There's a calf in the barn. You don't have your phone, I called you on the radio. Sorry. You okay? So we gotta get her up and out of here. So I'm gonna pop the side. She's on the bar. Come on, mama. You gotta get up. Come on. Yeah, she might fall out. So hold on, hold on. Just in case she's gonna fall as soon as we pop that. So let me get this all out of the way. I thought it was, it was not, but. Okay. Mama, you gotta do something. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Either fall back this way and get all floppy, or you need to get up. Come on. Come on, Mama. Get up. Come on. There we go. Come on, good girl. Come on. Anyway, come on. Go that way. Or go for it. Come on, Mama. There we go. Good girl. Okay, now don't go out that way. Ah, oh, okay, that's okay, that's fine. Okay. Good job, Mama. All right. Just give her her. We gotta get her out of here now. Um, can you go down and maybe open the gate that's right down there? Yeah. There we go, we got her. Okay, let her go. Perfect, good job. Thank you. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Whew. Pepper bull. It's a bull. All black. Huh? So he had extremely swollen tongue. Oh. So I gave him a shot of banamine. And uh, the swelling's already going down once he was out. Okay. His tongue was, oh my gosh, huge and just hanging out of his mouth. Okay. So, He's probably not going to be able to nurse him, uh, The banamine hopefully will bring swelling down. Mm -hmm. We just really got to keep an eye on him today 
if we have to, we can get him. Um, we could tube him. We can get him whatever we need, whatever he needs. We can do that. Um, but yeah. Alrighty, guys. We are gonna get these guys set up for water. Let them sit for a couple hours. See how they do. Obviously, keep a really close eye on them, and then um, we will do all the things that we got to do. So we'll be back in just a little bit and uh, see how it's going. Great news to see that little guy sucking. His tongue is still a little bit swollen. Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that, but hopefully he's getting some of that colostrum from mom, which he really needs. While I was checking on those guys, I took a little peek out this back door and I see a cow out there that's looking a little suspicious. Uh, she's wandering away and it looks like she might have something in tow. So we are gonna jump in the gator and head out there. We talked uh, yesterday about barometric pressure and how the dropping of pressure can start to affect some of these uh, cows and their labors. Um, while I think what it is, it's not so much the drop in barometric pressure, although that's what you usually hear about. I think it's sometimes just the swing. Like yesterday, it was snowing and cold and crappy. Uh, today, it's not bad. Sun shining, it is uh, 33 degrees already out here today. We're gonna have a decent day. So maybe it's the, the change in barometric pressure, the up and the down, that's gonna cause some of these cows problems, or at least cause them to go into labor. Now we looked yesterday at the cows and their udders. Um, I remember we talked about 17 green and 130 white. She was one that was probably getting pretty close. I, I'm interested to see who this cow is that's decided to, uh, to wander away from the rest of the herd. The herd itself, right over there, grabbing a bite to eat this morning. But she took off up over this hill. In fact, we're just gonna follow her tracks here. There she is. Oh, and look, as we get closer, she's got a calf with her. We're gonna stop here for one second. Still don't know who this is, but we're gonna go ahead and get geared up. Um, I haven't tagged the calf that's in the barn that we just worked on this morning. So this will actually be calf number four. Right there. We're gonna put this tag on this calf we'll see how cranky mom is i've got some cake so hopefully we can get her snagged and get this calf tagged snagged and tagged let's see who we got here and the winner is look at that number 130 that's the one that i called sweet good mod good job mom good job mom Good job. It's OK. 
okay. Not hurting your baby. Not hurting your baby. Just gonna get it tagged here. And it's a heifer. Good job, mama. You made a cute little baby. Number four. Good job, mom. There they go. Mom and calf heading off to do mom and calf things. But we did get it tagged. And just like that, we have started calving cows as well as heifers, which puts a little bit more work on us uh, <laughs> and makes things a little bit busier, which I guess is exactly what we want during the 30 and 30. So um, I'm going to finish up with feeding. We're going to keep an eye on these guys. She's taken off on us, which is fine. Um, we're going to keep an eye on her and make sure that she's okay. And of course, with the storm on the way, we want to make sure that uh, that this calf is taken care of as well. So now we have heifer calves. We've got heifers calves, <laughs> which are in the corral, in the nursery. Now we've got our cows calving out here. It's, uh, it's shaping up to get a little busy, that's for sure. All right, gang, welcome back. It's been a couple hours, three or four hours actually, uh, since we were out last, um, well, you and I, I've actually been out. I came out to check on these guys. Uh, once again, the uh, number 130 and her calf out here in the field. 130 had actually left her calf at that time and uh, had come in to get something to eat, which is fine. This is the bale that I fed this morning. Um, now we're heading back out. Uh, also, while I had her, uh, while she was eating and I had, I was alone with her calf, I got the uh, umbilical, umbilical cord sprayed down with iodine and also gave the calf out here in the field some OGH paste. Right now we're heading out though. I wanna make sure that she made it back to her calf and uh, picked her calf up and then got that calf fed. I don't see her back in here. So we're just gonna kinda go cruise around. I thought maybe we might have to pick up the calf and and uh, take it back to mom, but we're gonna see what we can find. Looks like most of the cows are heading out here into the pasture where they can wander around a little bit. Weather's not horrible today, uh, 45 degrees, but the wind is blowing. It's about uh, blowing anywhere up to about 40 miles an hour. So here's mom right over here and I can see the calf looks like it's laying down. Let's just swing over and make sure they're okay. That's not her, but there she is. There's mom. Looking a uh, little thinner. And here is her calf hanging out. So mom is here with this calf and that's a good thing. We're gonna leave these guys alone. Now, like I said, when the storm hits here, um, I don't have anything for you guys. You guys all think I have cake. Uh, when the <laughs> they're coming or running. Like I was saying, when the storm hits here in a couple days, we are going to have to uh, figure out what we're going to do with her and her calf, whether we leave them out here or we let her, you know, keep them with the herd, or we maybe try to separate her off and uh, her and her calf and, and try to bring them a little bit closer to home, maybe even putting them in with the heifer calves. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. Aaron and I will have uh, a lot of those discussions. A lot of what we do here on the ranch, my wife Aaron and I, you know, we try to sit down and and come up with uh, a plan together so that uh, we're both on the same page with a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, sometimes I get a little bit ahead of myself, like this morning where, uh, you know, I came out, I grabbed the camera, but didn't grab a radio. And then, you know, she was uh, uh, worried about me, came out to, to check on me and see how I was doing. But, you know, that, that won't be a mistake that I make again. I can almost guarantee it. I'll make sure that I have a, a radio or at least my phone uh, with me at all times so that I can get a hold of her if I have any trouble or anything like that especially 
during night checks because uh, you know you don't want anything to happen to you. So, and if it does, you want to make sure you're in contact with folks. So that was my bad for getting my radio this morning. Won't be a problem uh, ever again. I hope. One problem that we do have is with our calf that's here in the barn. Number 48 and her calf are still doing pretty good. Um, the calf is up, it's sucking. Although we're not quite sure how that swelling is doing on its tongue. So in order to take a look at that, we are actually gonna try to kick mom out one more time. Come on, mom. Come on out. Come on, mom. Scooch on out. Come on. Good mom. Good mom. Now just hang out there and wait for a second, okay? Next up is our calf here. I'm gonna take a look at his tongue and see how he's doing. He is a big calf. I'd say he weighs probably about 100 pounds or so. Let's see. How's your little tongue doing here, buddy? Oh yeah, we're much better. Oh, he's even had a bowel movement, which is great. Um, the tongue, and I'm, I very much doubt I'm gonna be able to get to show this to you guys, but we can try. Oh, you're gonna lay down for me? Okay, yeah, lay down, that's great. Good boy, good boy. Let's see if we can get in his mouth here and take a look. Tongue swelling is way down, way down. You can't really see it, but anyway. Um, the swelling of the tongue, I, I'd say it's 100% back to normal, which is exactly where we want it. Two uh, milligrams, two cc's, whatever, of banamine is actually the recommended dose per 100 pounds of body weight. He weighs right about 100 pounds, so I think I hit that one right on. Um, we don't have a tag. I don't have a tag for him yet, but that's okay. He's going to hang out in the corral here with his mom for at least another 24 hours, if not more. I want to make sure they bond really well before they go back out. Uh, we did see him up and drinking, so that's great. And uh, I'm really happy. Uh, today has been a day. We've had two calves today. Nowhere near a record. I think our record is like 10 calves in one day. But we did have two. So uh, And one that was unexpected. This one we kind of knew even last night was on the way. And I'm glad that we were able to save it. Um, there's nothing like pulling a calf and thinking that it's gone. And then when it hits the ground and it looks up at you and it blinks. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely a feeling that I wish that everybody could experience at some point in their lives. It's like, it's a feeling like none other. So thank you once again for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. The 30 and 30 continues. Uh, we are moving right along. This is uh, what, number four and uh, Number five is, well, it's only a day away. So make sure you subscribe, follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary right here on our Wyoming Life. Get your baby.